Hello faculty colleagues. Uh, are you ready for another Prof. John tutorial? This one I think you're really going to be able to use. Um, and it has to do with how do I uh, get a movie uh, that's on a DVD, uh, download it, put it into iTunes, then drag it out of iTunes, uh, put it on my desktop, and then upload it to YouTube. And then, because uh, uh, previously I thought you could only upload maximum of 15 minutes. Uh, to YouTube. Uh, that's from my uh, ScreenFlow. Uh, they only let me do 15 minutes. But I found out since recently that you can upload a whole movie. You can see on your screen here that I just uploaded uh, Bowling for Col Columbine, which is practically two hours. So um, the way that you're going to uh, download that movie from your DVD, and this is the app that I recommend, is this app down here at the bottom. You see it's called Rip It. So I'm going to click on that and open it. And it opens this very, it's a very simple, uh, very intuitive uh, interface. It's so damn easy you won't believe it. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your DVD in there and it's going to open up two different options over here. I'm not going to put a DVD in right now um, because uh, it's so easy to use that you'll see. On the right hand side is the one that you want to select. It's, it's the Compose and the one on the left is the Rip It. Uh, this one, the one on the right, it allows you to uh, download and um, also uh, put it into, save it into your uh, iTunes folder, which is now called the movie folder if you're in uh, Big Sur. Uh, but you want to make sure that you have the settings uh, set up correctly. So you're going to want to go to uh, Preferences and uh, you're going to create a movie to uh, a folder to put the uh, movies in once they rip. You want to be able to locate them, so you want to make sure that you have a folder all set up. You can see Movies to Rip is the one that I've got, and it's actually down here. Uh, uh, oh, I used to have it down there, but it isn't anymore. It opens automatically for me. Um, and I have this Do Nothing when a DVD is inserted, and you can set up the rest of these like I have it, or, or you may have some other preference. But this is kind of an important area right here. Um, you want to... Um, make sure that it goes to um, iTunes as well. In, and yeah, it's down here at the bottom. Import into iTunes. And so that means that once you import it, you're going to be able to drag it out of iTunes. You can play it in iTunes. Actually, if you, you can also probably use it from your uh, movie folder and uh, use that to uh, upload it to iTunes. So rip it. It's the one that I recommend. So after you rip it, it's going to wind up in your movie folder. Um, and you're going to um, want to uh, drag it out of your movie folder. This is uh, uh, Bowling for Columbine. This is the one that I just dragged out over here. And uh, so um, then once it's in uh, on your desktop, uh, then what you can do is you can drag it into um, iTunes and uh, I mean into uh, YouTube uh, and you're going to do that. Uh, let me just, uh, I'm going to skip ahead here because there's something I'm working on right here. So I'm going to click on next here because I just did this one. And uh, so I'm going to click on next here and on the next uh, uh, window there's really nothing you have to do. So I'm going to click on next and uh, then for this I want to put it in unlisted. Because some of these are uh, possibly copyright protected and you don't want everybody to have access to them. Uh, this might keep it sort of uh, debajo del agua or under the table so that you know people don't uh, uh, shut it off for you. Um, and then I'm going to click on save. And uh, then what I want is I want to, if this window opens for you, uh, that's going to be really convenient. Sometimes it doesn't quite open like this, but this is the easiest way to do it. You want to be able to embed this on your, in your uh, shell. So I'm going to click on copy here. I'm going to copy the uh, embed uh, text here. And then I'm going to go to my, um, uh, see I just did shock doctrine here. And so then I'm going to go to uh, my English 5 page. And this is where I might want to show it. Now I'm, I'm de being, developing a, a nice little video library here. I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. I may just make all of these available. I may shift some of them into uh, modules to, to use. So far I've got these on here. So for now I'm going to put in a page here.
And uh, then that's going to appear down here. I'm going to click on my page. I'm going to edit it. And then I'm going to put in the title up here. Uh, and I'm going to make a little extra space in case I want to do something before or after. Sometimes if you do something and you don't give yourself some space afterwards, it's hell to try and get uh, a text entry after a, a video that you put in there. So I always make a couple of extra spaces there. So now I'm going to go in here to insert edit media, this, this, this one right here. That's going to allow me to embed it. Uh, and then I'm going to paste my embed uh, code right here. And boom, there it is. Uh, and then I'm going to save it. So one thing that you can do, if I don't really like this opening uh, video or the opening clip here, what you can do um, is if we're still in this and we are, um, I can go out of that and I can open it and I can go to edit video and I can put a different uh, thumbnail on the front if I want something else on the front. Uh, well, I think I might, I might actually prefer this one. And so it's, uh, this, is a, this guy's a comic, I forget what his name is, but uh, I think I prefer that one. And then, you, uh, then I'm going to put a little description in here. Sometimes it makes you put that in there in order to save it. And so then I'm going to save it. And so now it's going to change my um, uh, thumbnail uh, that it hooks up to when it opens. Okay, so I'm assuming that uh, I don't need to go back and show you how to upload a video. Uh, but I could maybe just really quickly. Um, I will go to, uh, usually I do it through Safari. I'm going to go into YouTube. This is how I get to it sometimes. Just by going through Google and going to YouTube. And so then in order to upload it, see this little camera over here where it says create? So then you want to go to upload video. And then you just drag it over from here into there. And I'm going to do, uh, the next one I'm going to do is Fahrenheit 9-11 uh, or 11-9, whatever it is. I'm going to drag it on there. And this is the next one I'm going to put in my library. And so then I'm going to put down here, no, it's not for kids. And uh, it's uploading 1%. Then it's going to go. And then after it uploads completely, then it does this whole thing where it says processing. And that may take another half hour or something like that. And then uh, you're ready to you know, continue along uh, where I uh, ended up last time. Okay, so hopefully uh, that's helpful to you. Uh, really great to be able to get movies on our Canvas shelves. Uh, when I took the, uh, a course in uh, a quick little um, uh, you know, session uh, with some people at Merit, and I asked them how you do that, uh, they couldn't tell me how to do this, and it is so, so simple to do. Okay, so thanks for uh, checking it out, and I'll catch you for the next uh, Prof. John tutorial. Bye.